Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Me? Oh, you know, surviving on caffeine, vengeance and false promises as usual. Uh, but thanks for asking. Our show today is absolutely rammed to the hilt with sticky, sweet construction and demolition goodness. And you'll be delighted to hear that we've got a couple of new videos for you, so you won't have to look at my mug for too long. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to attempt a first for this show, an outside broadcast live. Uh, so without further ado, let's roll that intro and get this show on the road. <laughs> Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Thursday, the 19th of August, and as that tired-looking guy just said, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, we've got a high-reach Hyundai. We've got Squib Group in action in the stockbroker broker belt. Uh, there's a big bang down under, and who's buying Hyundai excavators? And technology allowing, we're going to attempt something we've never done before, an outside broadcast live from the Sunbelt Rentals Innovation Day that is taking place literally as we speak. If you've got any comments, questions, or anything else for that matter, leave them in the chat, and we'll get to them just as soon as we can. But first, let's take a very tongue-in-cheek look at the famous folks that were born unto the world on this day in history. Now, listen very carefully because you're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. Today, it's many happy returns to fashion designer Coco Chanel, who created the Little Black, Little Black Dress. It's also the birthday of Bill Clinton, a man who famously decorated a Little Black Dress. And just to prove that God truly has a sense of humour, today also marks the birthday of singer Margie Joseph, best known for a song called What's Come Over Me. I know you think I'm making this up, but I promise you I'm not. Uh, happy birthday also to actor Matthew Perry, better known to his friends as Chandler Bing. Uh, but far more importantly, today also marks the birthday of Mr. David Keane, a two-time president, well, one and a half, uh, one and a half times uh, of the National Federation of Demolition Contractors and one of the industry's true statesmen. Many happy returns to them, one and all. There is very little that improves my day more than a high-reach excavator. Well, aside from tea and cake and a West Ham victory and well, biscuits and chocolate. But apart from that, oh, and Kira Knightley. But apart from those, there is very little that improves my day more than a new high-reach excavator. And so start my day starting just right today uh, as I'm able to bring you this. We'll be hearing more from Hyundai later in the show, so... The Miller GT Series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting-edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. I live in Surrey. It's nice. Leafy, even. The schools are good, and the biggest crimes around here are 
crimes against fashion generally, uh, but just up the road there's another Surrey. A better Surrey. A Surrey where they check your bank balance before allowing you to drive through. A place where the local estate agent drives a Tesla. And I kid you not. Uh, this, my friends, is the Stockbroker Belt. A place where the noise, dust and vibration of demolition would be cause for a community meeting over... Prosecco and canapes, which is why I'm pleased to report that the good folks of West Byfleet selected the right company to tackle the demolition of Sheer House, smack bang in the middle of Will Healed West Byfleet. As this project is just up the road from me, I dropped by yesterday, completely unannounced, to take a look at what Scrub Group is up to. <laughs> That site is surrounded on all four sides by houses and local businesses. Uh, it backs onto the main road uh, right the way through the town and is right next door to the stations the, the locals use to travel up to London to earn their millions. And as I said, West Byfleet residents are not to be trifled with, but in all the time I was there, I saw barely a speck of dust uh, and the few passers-by that had torn themselves away from their alfresco dining stopped not to complain, but to admire the demolition laid out before them. So just to be clear, Squib Group are not paying me to say that. In fact, they didn't even know I was going along. Uh, so hats off to Tony Jackson down there and the whole of the Squib Group uh, West Byfleet team. Les, rest assured, your team are doing you proud. Right, this is going to throw the, the show slightly out of order, but I can see that he's waiting uh, in the wings. We're going to try something that we've never done before, and that is a live live broadcast from an outside location. And the fine folks at Sunbelt Rentals are currently hosting an innovation day at Perry Bar in Birmingham. Now, for obvious reasons, I can't be there. As you can see, I'm a little bit busy right now. Uh, but our friend and regular contributor, Peter Haddock, is there. Uh, and so long as his internet connection holds up, I'm hoping to throw over to, to his outside broadcast right now. Mark, Good morning, hello. Peter. How are you doing today? Yeah, not too bad at all. What's going on, Peter? Well, if you'd see behind me, Mark, today I'm here at that secret location near Birmingham, very close to the clean air zone introduced in June. Clean air zone means if you're going to go in with some dirty diesel, you're going to have to pay for it. And of course, Mark, what that means is these city centre locations, Birmingham, Manchester's, your London's, your Brighton's, your Bristol's, etc., etc., that are bringing in these kind of areas are going to have to think differently. And that's why I'm here today to find out how that's going to be made possible. So Sunbelt Rentals have kindly invited me to their Innovation Day, which is about low carbon. One of my favourite subjects, Mark. So guess what? I've got a six-metre telehandler. And I've got a 1.5-metre Wackenhusen dumper. This one's a JCB. There's something very quiet going on here, Mark. Well, they're not turned on, but even when they are, they will be super quiet because they're all electric. And they're all electric on sites all around the UK now with Sunbelt Rentals buying an awful lot of this kind of kit. They're not just bought a singular telehandler. They've bought a fleet of electrics from different brands like JCB and Wackenhusen. And one of the great things that I've seen that Sunbelt are doing here, and I'm going to be talking to the guys at the CEA, the Construction Equipment Association, today for some videos, um, which I'll be putting on my channels. They've adopted 
the Caesar emissions standard. I don't know, you probably can't see this, but it's got the emission sticker on it. So that's the emission compliance certification that uh, is, goes with Caesar. Now, Caesar, everybody knows it for actually being uh, the business that looks after the it stops it being stolen and then gets it recovered. But what's been super clever, the CEA have worked with Caesar to identify electric and um, stage five, for example, emission standards, which we now need in major projects like HS2, just down the road from here, you know, my favorite subject, HS2, Mark. Uh, and the thing is, they've done that together. So you've got that information locked into Caesar, which says everything about the machine. And also now the emissions certification uh, that sticks alongside that. So therefore, people can see very quickly when you're on site where there's lots and lots of people busy around, see very quickly that EV stick. I'll come over to this side. It's on the side. It says E. That means E for excellent. No, it doesn't. It means E for electric, Mark. And the great thing about that is you can see that straight away. You know that meets the standards of the site and therefore you let it in as a machine. So you don't want, you know, low loaders waiting outside of a site. And also with Sunbelt Rentals providing that service for their clients and their and, and big projects or and small projects up and down the country, they know as a client that they can get machines into site and working. And that's the most important thing, Mark. And that tailoring of electric between this six meter telehandler, what 1.5 meter dumper and the electric excavator fleet that the team here have got from um, the ACB is really important. And that's why we're here. We're also going to talk to Hilti about electric stuff. And we're also going to find out some more. And I might even get some breathing apparatus on later on um, because, Mark, they've got a whole unit here that really needs to give me that oxygen boost after I've been on this show. Uh, Peter, it looks like you've got your hands full today. So I'm going to let you go. But before I do, let, let people know where they can find the content that you create from today. Well, you can find the content from today on my LinkedIn. That's Peter Haddock on LinkedIn. You can find it content with media on Facebook, content with media on YouTube. You can find it through the content with media Twitter feed. And you can also find it on content with media. So content W media on Instagram. So you can find me all there, folks. Subscribe to the channel. You can even look at all of my archives on my YouTube channel. I've done a few videos now, Mark. They're all there for people to, to look at and share. But to connect with me, follow me on LinkedIn as well, Peter Haddock, because I'm going live from the event as well today. Thanks very much for having me on the show, Mark. Cheers, Peter. Have a great day. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Well, that worked remarkably well. R rather better than I expected it to, to be honest. Uh, now, if you were here yesterday, uh, you might recall that I mentioned a successful blast carried out by a British company, Alpha Group, uh, in Hazel at the Hazelwood Power Station, way down in Australia. Uh, well, I'm still waiting for the official footage of that boiler house uh, implosion to emerge, but there are many ways to skin the proverbial cat, and I've managed to find some footage of that um, blast lying about unattended online. So, without further ado, fire in the hole. Rest assured, we will be bringing you the official footage just as soon as somebody cares to send it to me. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we are back with Hyundai, the first 8.5 ton class Hyundai HX85A MIDI excavator. First in the UK has been delivered to a long-standing Hyundai customer, that's NG Plant Hire, based up in North Yorkshire. The eye-catching machine uh, also features a custom green livery, which is not too far removed from racing uh, British Racing Green, actually. Uh, the machine is fitted with the standard 450mm wide rubber tracks, although there are options for 450mm and 
and 600 mil steel tracks. The machine has also been supplied with the preferred UK spec 2.1 meter long dipper option, which combined with the standard boom offers a reach at ground level of 7.28 meters and a dig depth of 7.4 meters. Uh, congratulations to Nigel Gill at NG Plant Hire on his new purchase and to Chris Jordan at, uh, at High and Dealer Taylor and Braithwaite for securing this order. Right, now what else have we got? Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or, better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Well, that pretty much sums up today's show. Uh, I will roll the outro in just a second before hopping over into the chat to see what's cooking today. Uh, I'll also be back here tomorrow, same time, same place, for more of this old stuff and nonsense. But until then, have a great day. Look after yourself, your, your family, your friends and your colleagues. And thanks for watching. And also, obviously, thanks to Peter Haddock uh, for his magnificent outside broadcast. He's an absolute natural at these things. Um, as I say, I'm going to roll the outro in a second, but keep an eye out on Peter's LinkedIn. Uh, That's his, his primary uh, location these days. Uh, Peter Haddock, H-A-D-D-O-C-K. Uh, -D -D uh, check out uh, his feed today because I'm, I'm, my guess is he will be going live over there as well. So be sure to check that out.